The NYPD commissioner called the Bronx shootings an assassination attempt on police officers. Police say Saturday night Robert Williams asked for directions, then shot at officers inside of a patrol van. Then just 12 hours later, police say Williams opened fire inside a police precinct. Officer Paul Straffolino was released from the hospital yesterday morning. And you're looking live now from Lincoln Hospital, where Lieutenant Jose Coutreau is expected to be released at any moment. You can see all of those fellow officers there to greet him. Once that happens, we, of course, course will bring it to you. We have live team coverage of the NYPD officer shot. Rena Roy is at the courthouse where the suspect will face a judge today. But let's begin with Jenna DeAngelis live at Lincoln Hospital. Go back to the scene there. Jenna. Yeah, Chris and Mary, two days in a row, we watched the NYPD stand by its officers getting discharged from the hospital. Fortunately, both are expected to make a full recovery. Right now, we're waiting for the lieutenant who was shot yesterday to be released here so he can head home. A show of support from the NYPD lining up this morning to cheer on Lieutenant Jose Gatro as he leaves Lincoln Hospital. His release a day after he was shot in an apparent attack on police, the second this weekend by the same alleged suspect. And here we have New York City police officers twice in 12 hours targeted. Lieutenant Gatro joins fellow NYPD officer Paul Strefalino on the road to recovery. Officer Strefalino was released from the hospital Sunday morning with a bandaged wound on his neck. Some saying it's a miracle the two survived. They were very serious injuries, narrowly missing vital structures uh, in both the neck and, and in the arm respectively, but we expect them to make a full recovery. Alleged gunman Robert Williams was captured on surveillance video Sunday, opening fire inside the 41st precinct. 12 hours earlier, police say the suspect ambushed Officer Struffolino and his partner sitting in their marked police van. His partner wasn't hurt. Police union leaders say the environment in New York has become toxic for cops and argue more needs to be done to stop hatred and violence directed at police. Start backing our police officers, our elected officials, officials that stand and nod with us, it's time you open your mouth and say this must stop. Attorney General William Barr commented on the situation this morning, letting the NYPD know Washington has its back. I'd just like to express my outrage at the attempted assassination of two uh, New York City police officers, and I want them to know uh, that they have the full support of uh, this administration and this Department of Justice. We're told Lieutenant Gatro will be released at any moment now. I can tell you, you could see behind me dozens of police officers are here, as well as the police commissioner and PBA president. We're live in the Mott Haven section of the Bronx, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. All right, Jenna, thank you.